this example, we want to predict the coupling in the NMR of this molecule. Now the key point here is to notice that we have a chiral center at this position. And what that does is it makes the two hydrogens on the CH2 group that are next to it not equivalent because they are diastereotopic. In other words, when the NMR looks at this molecule, it will treat these two hydrogens as being completely separate. And so if we look at the coupling, uh, it should be pretty straightforward from there. This hydrogen would give a doublet with this H and a doublet with this H, and thus this would be a double doublet. Similarly, the first hydrogen on the methylene group would give a doublet here and a doublet here. Thus again, it would be a doublet of doublets. And the third hydrogen in that group would also be a doublet of doublets, coupling with this H and this one. And the simple part of this is, of course, the methyl group, which would just be a singlet, because these hydrogens don't couple with any other H's. Now, in terms of the ranges, we have a methyl group that is on an oxygen, so that'll be in the range of about 3 to 4 ppm. We have these hydrogens that are on the methylene group that are on electronegative atom. Again, probably going to be in the range of 3 to 4 ppm. And the last hydrogen is probably going to be a little bit more downfield from there because it has not only the electronegative chlorine directly connected to its carbon, but also a carbonyl group. So we might place that at maybe roughly uh, 4 to 5 ppm.